Good afternoon, all of you. Today, my name is Harpreet Gupta, and I'm an ICI student. I'm here to talk about anatomy and physiology. But today, I'm especially here to teach you about this skeleton system, all the bones. So it's very hard to remember each and every bone. But in order to review about the bones and to pass out our tests, and our quizzes so we have to learn but I am just going to tell you the easy method to learn so you'll be able to learn so don't worry about that but exactly what exactly anatomy is anatomy is study of the structures like heart if we don't know where it is located it is on the left side or it is on the right side so how we will learn about the heart or cardiovascular system so Let's start with the brain, this one. So this is the frontal bone. You know what is the frontal? It is in the front. And you always, this is my favorite bone. And we always use this bone. Like whenever I'm sitting in the examination hall and I don't know the answer of a question. So I always put my hand here. So this is the using of frontal bone. So this is your frontal bone and after that oh this you know is your nose your smelling nose so this is nasal bone and this one your cheeks so it is psychomatic bone and then we come maxilla here is maxilla bone and this one it is very easy to remember this name it is mandible but i'll just give you one example like when your tooth aches you always Hold it. That is spinning. So this is mandible. Let's review. What is this bone? Can you tell me? Here I've told you that it is in front and we always use it. So this is starting with F letter frontal. And what about this one? Oh, it is very easy to remember. It starts with N letter, this one. What exactly this is? Nose, it means nasal bone. And this one, which is psychomatic. And what about this one, this bone? It is maxilla. Can you tell me the name of this bone? Any one of you, it is very easy to remember. This one, what exactly this is? I've given you example also. This is mandible. After that, we just come here. You always wear shirts. So what exactly this one? It is the collar. So this is collarbone. And it is also known as, it is clavicle. So it is clavicle. And it is also known as collarbone. So easy to remember. You always wear shirts. After that, so this one is menubarium after that this this bone is sternum it is also known as breastbone it is located here in the center and this is the third process after that there are so many ribs so we have to remember these these are the true ribs which are attached to the sternum which are attached to the sternum and these two ribs they are, these two pairs are false ribs. And these two, you can see, they are floating. They are not attached to anyone. They are hanging. It means they are floating ribs. So let's study. But can you answer this question of mine? How many bones are total in our body? What exactly we real are? So can you tell me, like, how many bones are in total? Any one of you? Just a guess. Oh, there are 206 bones. Wow, there are so many bones in our body and we don't know. Let's review again. 
this is starts with C is a collarbone so what exactly this is it is clavicle and what about this one it is starts with M M this here is manubarium and what about this one I told you this is the press bone here so what you call it what's the name of it it is here this is manubarium this is breast bone it is also called sternum and this one is the little one so head process and these are the crew ribs crew they are attached to the sternum so they are the thing they are called crew ribs and these one false ribs and these are the floating which are hanging no place to join so these are called floating ribs and what about this thing this is vertebral column then we come to pubic but then the question arises like male skeleton and female skeleton they both are the same what is the logic behind it everyone thinks oh yeah they are the same but logically they both are not the same like male it is bigger skeleton is bigger but the female skeleton is shorter as compared to male skeleton and even the pubic inlet for the male it is very deep and shallow but the female outlet you can say it is wider you know what is the logic behind it like why it is wider because the baby head you know like pregnant ladies so baby head has to pass through it so it it needs a space so that's the logic behind it so now we will be studying this is ilium and after that it is this one is it is arbitrary for a man and after then this is a pubis so you can just tell me the bones of the hip it is also called hip bone this is this one is ilium pubis and after that this is arbitrary for a man so you you know this about the about the hip bone you have learned now it is very simple there are so less bones here after that we are just doing about the bones in our legs this one is femur it is the longest bone you know after that this is patella it is also known as knee joint it's a patella so like when we when we move our body so this is the one which helps after that it is tibia and fibula and this is calcaneus heel like heel here and these are the carpals metacarpals and after that these are the phalanges so we have to remember you know this which is the longest bone in our body this is the this bone which is this bone you know it is very easy this is femur after that tibia and fibula they are here and this is heel it is also called heel so it is calcaneus bone after that it is carpal then metacarpal and phalanges these are the phalanges so let's review from here again it is can you tell me it starts with i letter ilium after that pubis and this one anyone can tell me it starts with o letter it is orbitrate for a man and after that you all know this is the longest bone in our body it is femur and then tibia and fibula this is tibia and this one is fibula and what about this i told you it is very easy to remember 
just think it starts with heel heel and it is called calcaneus bone and after that carpus metacarpus and these are the phalanges after that now we come here it is the upper extremity arm we always use for eating like it always helps us so what exactly this is this is humerus it is also the long bone and this one radius and ulna in this one which attached to this thumb it is radius and which this one attached to the lower finger it is ulna so it is very easy to remember this is humerus radius and ulna and after that it is carpal metacarpals and phalanges so like now oh, i'm just going to discuss the posterior the back view in the back view this one is the occipital bone in the babies it is very delicate if the baby fall on the ground so he can lose even memory so we have to be very careful regarding occipital bone of the babies after that this one is the scapula and this one is the shortest bone is the coccyx after that i just want to review now from the beginning like from the front after that head to toe so let's start again we have to review so that it will be easy for you to remember it i know you asked you have already started learning now but again i just want to review from the head to toe so let's start this one is what is which is this bone now is frontal after that nasal this is zygomatic maxilla mandible and after that this one is collarbone or clavicle and this one manubarium this one sternum or also called press bone and this one is sulfide process and this these are the true ribs again attached to the sternum you have to just say if they are attached to the sternum it means true ribs and these are the false ribs and these are the floating ribs and after that vertebral column and then ilium then pubis and after that this is orbicular foramen and after that we have to just learn about this one this is humerus and this one is radius and ulna then carpus metacarpus and phalanges so it's very easy to remember i know you have learned now then comes it's the longest bone femur then patella and then fibula tibia fibula then tarsal metatarsal and phalanges and this is calcaneus heel so i hope by this time you might have learned at least some bones not all i know it's very difficult for everyone to remember each and every bone in detail but today we have just learned the main bones from head to toe so it is i hope it's easy now that's it